In this lesson, we're going to look at arrays uh, and how they're used in C Sharp. Uh, again, our learning outcomes will be uh, how to write an array um, and the syntax of it. Uh, first of all, an array can be a single array or, or it can be a multi-dimensional array. Okay, single or multi, or that should be an R. Uh, what is an array? An array is used to store a collection of data. Okay, the important word to underline there would be collection. And, but it's better off to think of it, or it's more useful to think of an array as a collection of variables of the same type. Okay, let's have a quick look at the uh, syntax here. Uh, you can see here I've, I have int i set to 20. Now the problem here is that int i, we've got a single variable, uh, and it's holding the value 20. It cannot hold any more values. It can be reinitialized to hold a different value, but it can't hold any more than one value. Uh, however, with an array, you can see here I wrote it the same way, uh, int, and once I use the square brackets, I'm declaring uh, an int array, so I'm saying it's going to be of type array. Uh, again, I've called it i, and I've used a new keyword, uh, a new int, and then my squares again, and I put in 20. Now, in this case, I haven't put in 20. I've said I've set an array, and I've set the size of it that it will hold 20 elements. Okay, what do I mean by that? Um, let's look at how we'd write this. Okay, uh, so I have uh, int, uh, okay, I, new int, okay, and I put in my brace, okay, and then I put in my first element of the array, so I've set i and the, the index of i is 0, and I've set that to 1. Okay, again, I, uh, I and I've set the, uh, the, uh, the i, sorry, in this case, the index, or the second uh, element, okay, index 1, is set to the value of 2. And of course, etc., etc. Okay, the 20 here indicates that it will hold 20 elements, or 20 elements will fit. So I fixed the size of the array. Uh, let's look at another way. I uh, closed the brace there. Let's look at another way I could have wrote that. Again, you can see here I have int i, and uh, again the squares indicating it's an array, or int squares array i, and I've set that to, and you can see I've opened a brace. Uh, and put in values 2, 4, 5, and close the brace here. Uh, so by default, that has created uh, that has created an array of three elements. Uh, again, this one would be uh, 0 indexed, index 1, index 2. Okay, so let's go over to the code and we'll write a couple of um, uh, arrays just to see how this is implemented. Okay, so here we are at the code, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, declare an array first. Okay, so I'm going to uh, have an int array, so int, again, use my squares, and then give it a name, a meaningful name. So, again, I'm going to call this uh, many numbers. Okay, uh, and I'm going to set this to an array of numbers, so I'll open a brace. And I'll put in a few numbers. So I'll put in um, uh, five, sorry, five, each one separated by a comma, uh, seven, uh, 15, okay, 24, okay, 55, um, 16, and nine. Okay, and I'll close my brace there uh, on that. Okay, I'll terminate that line. Okay, so there is an array declared. Okay, so the again, uh, the type of array or the data type will be of int. Again, my square is indicating in its array, uh, and the many numbers is what I've called it. And I've initialized this array with a set of numbers, just random numbers I just thought of. Okay, so let's say, uh, so each one of these numbers in the array is indexed, so 5 is 0, 7 is 1, 15, uh, sorry, uh, 15 is 3, etc. across the end. So let's just check this by writing it out to the console. Um, so I'll do a console.write line here, uh, and this will, um, and how I write this is, uh, uh, sorry, just put a bit of this, uh, the number is okay i'll put in my brace zero close the brace there close that string okay and how i'll write that is many 
numbers and the array or the square brackets there. Okay, now if I want to write out a number, uh, sorry, if I want to write them all, I'd have to use a loop. Okay, so again, loops and arrays are close cousins or work together. Uh, but if I want to write out an element of the array, uh, so if I want to write out element number two, okay, uh, again, what is going to come out? Okay, so zero, one, two, so it should write out the number is 15. Uh, okay, uh, so let's uh, run this bit of code and to see if we get that and you can see there, yes, the number is 15. Uh, so the 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 trick uh, with arrays or the thing the way to think about arrays is uh, it has created uh, a block of memory and each individual element of the array so our each integer in this array okay is holding its own separate little block of uh, uh, it's put into a block of memory okay we can also have other types of arrays we can we can have a string array uh, so let's uh, let's just look at this I'll just comment out this and uh, we'll, we'll just do a string array here to to keep us going okay uh, you can see here I've just typed out a, a string and uh, just I've, I've I've just paused the video while doing it rather than you watching me typing uh, so you can see here string so the the array type is type string I've named it lectures and I've populated that with uh, a number of strings so I have Damien Paul Kevin Rory Shazia okay so let's um, if I want to write out again, I could write, use the same syntax up here to write out uh, any element of the array. But let's say I want to write out them all. Uh, again, I could use a loop here for this. So I'll use a for loop. Uh, so for I'll put in the syntax first. So I'll open a brace and close it. Okay. Uh, now first, let me set the condition. So the condition here will be so int uh, i uh, is set to zero okay and for as long as i is uh, less than the uh, lectures dot length okay and, uh, and uh, i plus plus so again this just like in our, in our last uh, video there on on uh, the for loop again i'm just getting the length okay i want to cycle through to each element of the array which is each name in it Okay, so we'll start off with the, the Damien will be zero index, Paul would be one, Kevin two, Rory three, she's the four. Okay, so if I want to write out that, I'll just do a console write line. I'll just be, just be quick here. So console write line. So I'm going to say the element of the array, okay, uh, teaches C sharp. And you can see there, I just put in the array name and I, which is the looping uh, variable here. So let's run this and see how it looks. Uh, so I'll start the compile and you can see there it's looped through each one so you can see there Damien teaches C sharp it loops again uh, Paul teaches C sharp loops again Kevin teaches etc it's right down the, the until it comes to the lectures that length the end of that okay uh, the um, this was again working with an array. Uh, there's a few other things we can do with arrays, but we'll do them in our exercises uh, later on. Um, uh, the next loop we'll go on to is the for each loop. Okay, thank you for your attention.